IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our final episode of the year. I'm Julianne Lambert. And I'm Jade Zarco. So Julianne, are you excited to be graduating high school next Friday? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Although I'll be pretty sad leaving behind the school and the Braves Beat team. I heard you're graduating too. What about you? Well, it's been a crazy year, but I've really enjoyed my time here at Indian Hill. <laughs> Me too. So anyways, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. As you all know, May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, which is a celebration of Asians and Pacific Islanders in the United States. The month of May was chosen to commemorate the immigration of the first Japanese to the United States on May 7, 1843. The Asian Pacific American Heritage Association invites all to join in a conversation with young indigenous activists from across the Pacific. For more information, visit the link in the description below. Despite this crazy year, our IHHS premieres worked diligently at Class AA Literature and took straight superior ratings in the OMEA Large Group Contest. Congratulations, premieres! Just as well, Miles Taylor received an excellent rating in Class B for the OMEA solo and ensemble. As a freshman, he also received two five-star ratings and one four-star rating in the Queen City Music Festival for piano. Congratulations, Miles. Let's check into the final episode of The Tonight Show with Dylan Condor. Uh, hello, welcome back to the, uh, the show. Episode seven, I think. Oh, oh. Oh, all right, well, it seems that our guest has flaked us again for the second time, so the guest for tonight is Isaac Fiore? Um, Co-host of TDRNS, everybody's, every, everyone's favorite, uh, Isaac Fiore. Yeah, um, put on the mic, clip on the mic. So what do you, what do, you do? I, I uh, backstage at the show, you know? I uh, do most of these, most of our little our, our jokes and bits, and I, um, uh, I make it funny. You make, okay. You're the, yeah, okay. And you do the graphics. Yeah, and I do the graphics. Um, so do you think you're gonna do anything with that uh, skill set you picked up from the show? Maybe. And here, um, we also have a band tonight. We do? Play something. Now, uh, Isaac, my next question. Sure. I think I can't. You can't. I have my, I, my, I don't have my glasses on today. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, if you could, I think this is. Yeah. Hold for on. You, I think. Looks like you've got a document for you. Okay. Oh, you have jury summons. What? Awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we can see this on the camera. You're Probably being not. summoned, uh, Dylan Condor. Uh, you've got to go to Arkansas City Courthouse. That's a bit of a drive. Um, <laughs> when do I have to be there? Oh, let's see. Um, well, 2 12 20, uh, February 12th. <laughs> February? <laughs> so you're about three months late. <laughs> I'm sure they'll appreciate you showing what, up. What does that happen? What happens then? Um, you might go to jail. You, you can just have this in case. I'm angry now. At you. You. Okay. Well, I want you to understand that it is now. Um, oh, it's time to it's scream. It's time to scream. <laughs> yeah. Time to scream is over. Do you have any idea where you're going to college? No. Okay. <laughs> Oregon. What are you talking about? Am I wrong? I don't know. Okay. Now for everybody's favorite bit from last episode, painting the guest. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Are we done? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. You ready for the last scene of the show? Yeah, last scene of the show. And we're up. No, no, no. Yep. This is my show now. Tonight, Isaac. Right now, show. That's full of pain. 
Congrats to our art teacher, Mr. Walter, who was selected for the Fitton Center Regional Show, with, which opens May 28th and runs for six weeks. His work is featured here in this graphic. Way to go, Mr. Walter. On Monday, the Indian Hill Braves varsity men's tennis team defeated Seven Hills to claim the title of the top Division II team in Southwest Ohio. The boys now advance to the Final Four in the Ohio State Team Championship in Columbus. Times and dates will be determined soon. Please congratulate the amazing team of players shown here on this exciting and impressive achievement. Be sure to cheer them on with their quest to win a state championship for Indian Hill. Our girls track team are CHL champs again this year. Wow, congrats ladies. Individually, Elizabeth Whaley took first place in the 800, 1600, and 3200 meter runs. Mia Hack won the high jump at 4 feet 10 inches. Hayden Withers took second in the 1600 meter run. Maggie Overberg placed second in the 100 meter hurdles and Megan O'Brien was second in the 200 meter dash. Elizabeth Whaley was this year's CHL Runner of the Year. Congrats and good luck in the tournaments. Our boys track team placed second as a team in the CHL. On the field side, Dylan Holler and Thompson took first in the discus and second in the shot put. Bowie Irvine took second in the pole vault and Luke Folke placed third in the long jump. On the track side, Luke Folke placed second in the 200 and 400 meter run. Dawson Muncy placed third in the 300 meter run hurdles. The 1600 and the 3200 meter relay teams both placed third. Dylan Holler and Thompson was this year's CHL Field Athlete of the Year. Congratulations and good luck to you in the tournaments as well. Our girls lacrosse team pounced on Walnut Hills last Thursday, 18 to four. The girls are seated third in the OHSAA tournament and their first round game was on Thursday the 20th at home. IHTN Live streamed this game so you can watch it on demand by going to the IHTN One YouTube channel. The girls played in the tournament this Saturday at 3.30 at home. IHTN will live stream this game as well. Come out to Tomahawk Stadium or tune in to IHTN One to see the game. Our boys lacrosse team beat Loveland 11-3 last Friday and then lost a tough game to Division I Moeller 5-7. The boys are seated second in the OHSAA tournament and won their first game over Wilmington 19-1. They played Summit Country Day Thursday night and play again next Monday. Good luck, boys. Our boys baseball team lost to Division I Mason last Saturday 4-6. They played at Batavia on Wednesday. Good luck to our boys as they continue in tournament play. Don't forget to go vote for our Indian Hill boys tennis team and our girls track and field team as part of the teams of the week in the description below. And while you're at it, don't forget to vote for our IH Players of the Week. The link is also listed in the description below. You can vote for Zach Osterhues for baseball, Will Adair for boys lacrosse, Michelle Lindberg for girls lacrosse, Jack Pollock for tennis singles, Tejas Pisati and RJ Poffenberger for tennis doubles, and Elizabeth Whaley for track and field. Well, that wraps up another week of news in our final episode of this school year. We wish you all a good, summer break. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy in Hill. Hill.
Hi Class of 2021, this is a special moment for you. This is the beginning of really senior week and the celebration of all that you have accomplished these last four years. Four years ago when you came in, I came in. So you will always hold a really special place in my heart. I'm so proud of you. You have endured an unbelievable year under extraordinary circumstances and you have led the way the entire time. The only word I could think about is pride. I'm so proud of you all. Congratulations. Let's enjoy every single moment and let's go Braves.